Hi, we are going to determine the percent ionization inside of an acid-base reaction. Um, so here's the short and long of it. Percent ionization, it's really just the change. It's asking how much of that reactant is going to react. What's the percent that reacts? Um, so let's fill out the ice table and I'll show you exactly what I mean when I say change. Um, so in this situation, we're going to do a very classic example, acetic acid, so vinegar. Um, we're going to react that with water and it will produce acetate ion and the hydronium ion. We'll start with a 0.1 molar solution and we're going to figure out all the equilibrium concentrations. Um, so water, it's a liquid, not a part of the equilibrium expression, don't include liquids or solids, only aqueous and gas. Um, we have zero acetate, zero hydronium as we begin. Um, now, this is a weak acid, which means it will only partially ionize. It's only going to partially break apart. We don't know the amount. So we say minus X. Some amount is going to be consumed. That's the ionization, okay? That's the ionization amount. So some amount is going to break apart and react with this water. Um, now, I always do look at the molar coefficients. For every one mole that I lose of the um, acetic acid is going to produce one mole of the acetate ion and one mole of the hydronium. Now, to find our E, really easy, you just take I plus C, we get 0.1 minus X, zero plus X is X, zero plus X is X. So I've written a little formula for you. We want to know the percent that ionizes, the amount of this that breaks apart, that's really what they're asking. Now just let me write that down. Let me write it down in purple as one of our takeaways. Um, so ion, percent ionization is going to be the amount of reactant that reacts. That reacts. That's really what they're asking when they say what's the percent ionization. How much of that is going to ionize? How much is going to break apart, react with that water? Um, so I wrote this formula for you. You just have to take the amount that changes, which is X. Okay, the amount that's consumed, that's the amount that's ionized, the amount that breaks apart. You take the amount that um, changes, the amount that's consumed, reacts, divide it by what you begin with, and you just multiply by 100, and bam, you have percent ionization. So let's go ahead and figure out our X. Here is our ionization constant for um, acetic acid, so equilibrium constant. Let's go ahead and write the equilibrium expression. Ka will equal products. That will be our acetate ion times the hydronium ion divided by reactants, which is the acetic acid. Now let's go ahead and plug in what we know. Um, we are going to have 1.8, oops, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 equals, so I've got x and x, I'm going to go ahead and multiply those, um, equals x squared divided by my reactant, 0 0.10 minus x. Okay, look at the trick. This x is negligible because there's actually four zeros different. This it would be 1 times 10 to the minus 1, that's uh, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. There's four zeros different. Remember, if there's at least two zeros, 100, a factor of 100 difference between the concentration and uh, the K value, then the X next to the concentration is negligible. Why? It's negligible because when we solve for X and I plug in X, it's so small that when I subtract it from the 0.1 using sig figs, it's actually just going to be 0.1. Uh, so now we can solve for x. I'll multiply both sides by 0.1 and then take the square root. So let's do that. I'm going to go times 0 0.10 times 0 0.10 um, and then I'm going to take the square root of that whole thing. We are going to get that x equals, let's see here, 0 0.00134, 0 0.00134 and that's molar. Okay, so I have that right here. Um, I'm going to have the 0.1 minus 0 0.00134. Um, subtract that, it's still just going to be 0.1 um, here. 0 0.00134, 0 0.00134. Zero zero so if I wanted to get pH, I could do the negative log of this, and it's going to be somewhere in the 2.5 range, something like that. But what we want is percent ionization. We found X, this right here. I'm going to write it down in pink so you can really see it. The change, the amount that reacts, the amount, the amount that ionizes, 
0.00134. That's how much is going to react. So to find the percent, I just take the amount that reacted divided by the amount we began with. Change divided by initial. Um, so percent ionization is going to equal the change divided by initial, which is going to be 0 0.00134 divided by my initial 0 0.10 times 100, and we are going to get 1.34%. Wow. When I put that acetic acid in the water, only 1.34% of that is going to react, is going to ionize percent ionization. Um, so when you're asked that question, what percent ionizes right away, I want you to go to that. It's the change. And then you can muscle and work your way through it. Of Okay, the amount that reacts, that's the change. So let's define the percent that reacted, change divided by initial. And you'll have it. Okay, good work. If you have other questions on acid bases, um, please look at my, my playlist, Acid Base Equilibrium Under Name Bink. Thank you. Have a great day.